Wow, it's pretty cold here today. Uh, <clears throat> almost snowing, hence the beanie. And uh, just gonna check out the Smappy EV base. So this is our new EV charging station uh, here at the Smart Energy Lab. And uh, it's a pretty amazing unit. Um, <laughs> it's got two 22 kilowatt three phase type two outlets. It's connected to uh, a smart controller. So the, the Smappy system is more than just um, EV supply equipment. It's also a way of optimizing the system to maximize self-consumption, particularly of renewable energy, or if you've got off-peak tariffs, etc. So the Infinity is basically a little box up here with a green light on it. Uh, and um, what that does for you is it's got some CTs which are measuring the, the flow and direction of generation and consumption and looking for the opportunities to maximize self-consumption. It's also connected to the cloud. So this system can report to the Smappy uh, dashboard and show you whether A, um, one of the charging points uh, is available or in use and what rate it's being used at. Uh, it can also be used with things like RFID cards to choose who's allowed to use the unit and also with um, <coughs> uh, a QR code. So. The app, the Smappy app, has the ability to, using a QR code, unlock the system. Since we have an open system here, we don't use the RFID or QR, we just allow people to plug in uh, here at the Smart Energy Lab, which includes uh, all the members of Murumura Cooperative. Now, where does the energy come from for this system? So behind me is a bunch of select sun inverters. In fact, there's four 20 kilowatt select sun inverters. They're connected to a solar farm, basically uh, a tracking system, uh, Arctech Solar's solar tracker. We've got the 1P trackers, which are 90 meter long torque tube that rotates uh, through from east to west. And uh, it's amazing what that does for your production. You basically get a very flat production curve from first thing in the morning, almost as soon as the sun hits the panels perpendicular to them, full power if it's a sunny day, through to the end of the day. So you get a very flat production curve. We're also assembling the second tracker, which is a 2P tracker. That means it's two panels wide, so it's quite a big unit. Um, and that will add another 36 kilowatts of generation capacity. Bring us up to around about 60, uh, what are we up to? 72 kilowatts of um, total generation. So yeah, that's gonna be a nice little uh, adjunct to the Smart Energy Lab systems. But we've got more. We also have the ability to store that energy and that energy is stored in battery systems. Now we've got a lot of battery systems here which are part of trials and testing for different companies. So um, here behind me <coughs> in these uh, insulated covers are some Redflow batteries. Now uh, usually these would have the covers off but since we're at a very cold climate like it's actually naught degrees here at the moment uh, we're just keeping them a little bit warmer so that they uh, don't suffer from uh, uh, any slowdown in their charging rates. But normally if they're used at a high rate, charge and discharge, that's enough to keep them in the operating temperature range that suits them. On this side of the room, uh, we've also got some SolarX. So we've got the three phase SolarX uh, inverter here and next to it, the single phase uh, SolarX inverter here uh, with the really lovely triple power batteries. Now these triple power batteries, um, there's a lot of them here. There's actually seven of them. They're 100 volts each connected in series. The first four, giving me 400 volts, are connected to the three phase Solar X, um, X3 inverter here. And the next three are connected in series to give me 300 volts, which are connected to the X1, which is a single phase uh, inverter uh, rated at six kilowatts. Now this unit can charge and uh, invert at the same time. Uh, it's also got a built-in uh, EPS, so it gives you backup at six kilowatts. Uh, the three-phase unit has an external automatic transfer switch to allow you to get really high um, uh, throughput when the grid's available, but also to back up using uh, the automatic transfer switch built into this unit. <clears throat> now, lastly, we've got 
the main microgrid system here. Now this is uh, a Selectronic power chain, uh, so I should turn the lights on so it's a little bit brighter in here. Selectronic have been producing uh, inverters for <laughs> decades, in fact the company's over 55 years old, I think about 25 of that has been making inverters. Uh, this is the Selectronic SP Pro inverter range, if I swing around here you'll see three of them, there's actually six of them here uh, in what's called power chain configuration. So it's a three phase system, each of these inverters is single phase and we have two inverters per phase. They're controlled by what's called the manager, so down the end there is L1 manager and the other three at the other end are the workers. They're basically controlled by the managers and that can be done I think up to four inverters per phase. So you can build some pretty big systems in the power chain configuration. And lastly here are the battery systems. Now this is the um, <clears throat> eco range of 48 volt batteries from Power Plus Energy. I've had a lot to do with Power Plus Energy over the years. They've supplied me with lots of products and different battery systems, uh, 120 volt batteries, 48 volt batteries, smart batteries. In fact, these had an upgrade of their BMS to the latest smart BMS, which means that we can track and monitor them um, from the cloud. So they're reporting every single cell, uh, sorry, every single battery module, its voltage, uh, temperature and uh, current and it's, there's a back end which allows even more detail for the manufacturer to see. They can remotely turn them off as well so from a safety perspective they're a fully uh, remotely managed battery system. So this is uh, about 80 kilowatt hours I think yeah it's 80 kilowatt hours of power plus energy we call it the power of ta the tower of power because if I stand back enough you'll see it's uh, quite a big unit. So there we go, the Tower of Power from Powerless Energy along with the power chain from Selectronic behind me. And I keep saying lastly, maybe lastly, lastly, we've got an AERL charge controller here. Now, this is an MPPT. AERL are actually the inventors of the maximum power point tracking charge controller. The little known fact back in, I think it was 1984, Stuart Watkinson, a young engineer from Queensland, uh, invented the first maximum power point trackers and you'll find one in every solar inverter and every charge controller virtually as a result of that. So a great Australian invention, the company has been around that whole time making charge controllers. What we've got it here for is what I call black start protection. So basically this inverter, sorry, this charge controller is directly connected to the Power Plus Energy battery system. So irrespective of whether the inverters are on or off, it can still provide charge to the battery. That's important in an off-grid system. This is an off-grid microgrid here at the Smart Energy Lab. And it's important to be able to provide a dedicated means of charging the batteries in case something goes wrong with the generator. We've got a backup generator, but you know, run of the fuel, batteries uh, flat, uh, mechanical problems, anything could happen to a generator. And if it doesn't start, that means there's no power at the inverters, there's no AC power. If there's no AC power at the battery inverters behind me, then the Select Sun solar inverters connected to the solar farm won't come on. So, the solution is a DC coupled charging source. So DC coupling uh, combined with AC coupling actually gives you the highest reliability of a system uh, because of that black start protection. Anyway, that's all from me, Glenn Morris, here at the Smart Energy Lab.